Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am finally getting to review the Reader Bamboo Book Stand I purchased from Amazon for a spectacular price of $15.99. I know you guys have been waiting for this video, finally have time to do it. So let's get to the review. It comes wrapped in this um, cardboard container with their logo right there. And let's unbox this. Now, as you guys know, previously I've been using this uh, laptop book stand. I mean, laptop stand, it wasn't proper as at the angle. That's not what it's used for. So let's take a look at this. Straight from Amazon. I actually did a lot of research. Uh, my budget was around, I didn't want to spend anything for 20 bucks, you know, considering it's just like a comic book holder, what I'm going to use it for. And I wanted something kind of elegant looking, but I didn't want to spend like 30 bucks on the, um, the, the larger models, so I had to settle for a smaller model. This is the Reader Bamboo Book Stand. Um, they have three different sizes. I believe I chose the smallest size. So the measurements of this are roughly 13 by 4, 13.4 inches by 9.5 height by 0.44 width. Right there. They have ones that go up to like 10.4 inches, but that still won't cover the comic book size. So I decided to just settle for a cheaper model. As you can see right here, this is um, made of quality bamboo. You got that reader. Is that how you spell it? I mean, how you pronounce it? Reader. Logo right there. Seems um, pretty quality bamboo right there. Not like the cheap, flimsy kind of wood. You got your six different angle settings right there that you see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Yeah. Depending on the angle that you want, whether it be like the uh, lowest angle to the highest, which I'll probably be using for my comic book. So let's see how that looks. Okay, that is perfect right there. Look at that. Here's a side view for that. And um, also this, this allows for very thick book pages. We'll see how that goes. Because that is the thickness of the book they can handle. There you see, um, this is the, where you want to keep your pages. If you want to use it, I probably won't be using that, but we'll test that out. So it's definitely foldable, whether you want to use it or not. It has a protective cover right there so it doesn't damage the page. You got the hinges right here. It folds real nice. You can take it anywhere on the go. It's very portable. Kind of pretty lightweight. I would say about, um, I'm guessing about two pounds maybe. Here's how it works. Very simple mechanism, a tool. So uh, let's get to it. I have some example comics and books right here. Let's take a look at this uh, Michael Crichton book, Lo The Lost World. That fits nicely right there and that's gonna be hard to keep the pages open because of the book wanting to bend over I believe this is especially used for like a cookbook or so we don't just try it on a book like this on a soft cover book paperback so this is how you would use it like that see how that comes in handy all right, so I won't demonstrate these two tools down here. We're just going to go through quick ones. Let's say this is a Savage Sword of Conan number two. That, see how it's bigger than itself. Taller than the stand, but it does its, it does its job. And it's affordable price. All right, now let's take a look at this uh, Superman versus Muhammad Ali. It looks very nice right there when you guys say so. And by the way, rest in peace, Muhammad Ali, the greatest one. Make sure you check out my tribute video on that. And let's take a look at this uh, graphic novel slash uh, trade paperback Superman. Okay, perfect size, right? And just modern comic right here. You got Doomsday Superman representing the DC Comics. And let's take a look at the uh, Silver Age comics, right? That fits real nice. And I might as well throw in one of these uh, wizard magazines. 
And now for the important thing, before we give it a grade, the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, that might be a little bit hard to fit right there, but it looks like it will do its job fine. And let's throw in a very thick hard cover, which probably is not supposed to be used for that because it's too heavy, it's gonna tilt it over. This is like probably like how many pages is in here? Uh, looks like it's about, yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, on the bottom, looks about about like 800 ish. That's a little bit too thick for that, so you don't want to use it for something like that. So yeah, I'm, I'll be doing the uh, comic book haul video right after this. Super excited to use it to see how it performs. But so far, I'm very happy with this model. It's got an elegant, nice wooden feature. Um, one of the lower end, I mean, one of the more affordable ones. You get a nice quality a book rest for a very affordable price. I'm very happy with this. And of course, I'll keep you guys... Um, Update it in the comment section on how this performs, whether it breaks or lasts forever. I have, I can't imagine this breaking at all. I'll just show you the uh, different settings right there. As you can tell, I'm pretty happy with this. Didn't spend too much money. And it does its job. Oh, let's get 100%. I think I'm going to hook this up with a 88%. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get on to the comic book video.